that was a struggle. You have to get through it, but then you kind of like have this appreciation and respect for it. So it was a lot. The largest test was 201 questions. Hi everyone, my name's Rachel. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am a first year osteopathic medical student in the US. And today I'm going to be talking about all of the classes that I took in my first semester of medical school that was also online completely and during the COVID-19 pandemic, which is still ongoing as, um, you know, it's February 2021 right now. So I'm going to be talking about all the classes that I took and a little bit about them and maybe a little bit also how I kind of survived them and got through them. The way that my semester was structured and the way that we did our exams were we took integrated exams, which means that we literally had like five different classes on one exam and the number of lectures that we had had for like say anatomy would reflect the number of questions on the exam for anatomy questions. For example, if we had like 15 anatomy lectures, then there would be 45 anatomy questions on the exam because there's like an average of three questions per lecture hour. These were big tests. Like they, the largest test was 201 questions. That was definitely a transition for me. Um, the idea about that is trying to like kind of get you ready for boards. So the first class that I'll talk about is is anatomy. Anatomy is arguably like one of the hardest classes of med school simply just because you have to learn so much like you literally have to learn everything about the human body from like the bones to the veins, arteries, you know, all like the organs where everything is, uh, you know, it's crazy. There's a lot to learn. So this is a class that I actually had throughout the entire semester because there was so much to learn and it was kind of split up in like um, you know, systems like when we had one test, it was on head and neck things. It was on like upper extremity and then another test covered like lower extremity. I ended up getting an anatomy tutor through a club like halfway through the semester and that really helped me because I would listen to the lectures, go through the material myself, use the app Complete Anatomy to really try to learn it and that's a great app that my school like got for us and that's how we did our anatomy lab. It really like shows you everything, like all the veins, anything you can type it in, you can see exactly where it is. So if there was like something that I was having trouble picturing, then I would just open up Complete Anatomy, look at it, look at the muscle and it would make more sense to me. With that, um, I also had an anatomy lab and a histology lab. The anatomy lab was just on Zoom because we were 100% online this semester and we just went into breakout rooms and they would like give us a PowerPoint and based off the material that we were learning that week and they would ask us questions, reinforce it. The next class that I had also throughout the entire semester was histology, which is basically just looking at things on microscope slides. And this is important because, you know, we're learning about all of these things. We're learning about all of these processes, cells, how this works, you know, but it's important to also know what it looks like on the microscope slide. And then histology lab was actually optional but um, that was just looking at the things that we were studying under the microscope slide and being able to identify them. We did have histology practicals as well. So like just two histology exams that were just like straight ID of like 50 histology slides. The next class that I took <laughs> in my first semester of online med school was physiology. So this is basically learning about the processes in your body, like how it works in your body. And it is very interesting, but physiology can be difficult just because you really have to fully understand the processes. Like um, with the kidneys, there's a lot of different ions and like things moving and there's different, um, you know, parts of the kidney nephron and there's different like the thick descending, you know, all this stuff. You have to know how things work and like why it goes that way and like why the ions are moving that way. And we kind of like got a crash course of each system in physiology, like we did like uh, the cardio stuff. So we learned about how the heart works and the physiology of the heart. And then we learned about the kidneys and then just kind of like overall body processes. I found it to be a difficult class. The next class that I took was biochemistry. So you think that once you get to med school, you are finally away from the Krebs cycle all that stuff, no, you're going to learn it again. You're going to be learning like kind of a little bit of stoichiometry we went over, but we weren't really tested too much on it. But you'll be learning acid base stuff still because that stuff is important for like hypoxia and all of that. It was like, oh my gosh, um, <laughs> I'm really learning this stuff again. But yes, you do. Although I will say like, you'll have probably like 
six undergrad lectures and like one lecture of medical school biochemistry so you're learning it again but it's like you're also learning so much more stuff um you'll learn about like the dna synthesis with like purines and pyrimidines um it's hard and there's a lot of processes and still things to memorize we still went through like the electron transport chain and all that stuff um but you just have to like know it to the t um it is cool to like understand free radicals and like how that works in our bodies and like antioxidants how the antioxidants work against free radicals like it's cool when you start to learn about this stuff in clinical applications and then you think about how you learned it last semester and you're like oh that's why i learned it last semester and i actually like kind of remember learning about this and it makes sense as to why this happens clinically so you know you have to get through it but then you kind of like have this appreciation and respect for it too immunology was a very interesting class and it's basically about how your body responds to like pathogens and how if you're like about to get sick or you've got um, parasites trying to invade your body or like an extracellular bacteria trying to invade your body in if you're getting an infection it'll tell you how like the neutrophils are gonna go like first and then the monocytes go a little later on and you'll talk about like um t helper cells b cells you'll learn how they're made it is very interesting to like learn these things and you have i personally like had so much more respect for my body i'm like wow that's insane that these processes are like constantly going on like i want to take care of myself because my body's literally working so hard to take care of me um but it does have a lot of memorization so you just have to like do so much reinforcement and like i liked studying with friends once you do it is very interesting and it's a really cool class so i also took microbiology which is you know learning about things on the cellular level learning about like bacteria and viruses and their virulence factors which are basically things that they've like acquired through you know like evolutionary evolution and like natural selection that have helped them stay living um for example like if they're able to penetrate through through the gram positive um cell walls or gram negative cell walls some of them will like release um enzymes that will poke holes in a cell wall so then it can invade it it is very interesting to learn these things and then once you're learning about like the diseases that these um, pathogens cause it makes more sense about a lot of different parasites bacteria viruses it is a lot of memorization again a lot of reinforcement with friends but very interesting also took nutrition uh and it was a uh, one credit class and i'm gonna talk about this later because i have a friend that's getting her master's in nutrition science and she knows so much about nutrition and she's gonna be a doctor and she's gonna be an amazing doctor that knows so much about nutrition basic vitamins and macronutrients and micronutrients and kind of connecting like the biochemical processes to how things work in our bodies but not like insanely in depth it was a little bit about um how to like counsel your patients about their weight but it was nothing in depth and um, honestly, like I wanna do more outside um, education myself on nutrition and how I can be a good provider and like talk about these things and actually help my patients and be knowledgeable about it. And then we also took a foundations of research class, which was a very like simple class, especially compared to like anatomy and microbiology and stuff. It was just about, you know, how our research studies constructed, what are the basic parts of it? Um, why is it important? like it's important to continue doing research as a doctor because xyz you know we want to make sure we're practicing clinically relevant things and like evidence-based medicine so it was it is important to have that foundation and then we have to do like a second an m2 research project so it was kind of like the intro to that so as you may have noticed i did not take a physical diagnosis lab or an opp lab and i am a do student so like i would normally be taking an opp lab every semester and of course we would take physical diagnosis because we have to learn how to interact with patients and talk to them and all of that but because i started my first semester of med school during the covid 19 pandemic we were going to be completely online so some people didn't even come to the area because we could literally do everything online and we were not we did not have to go into campus for anything so that's why i took immunology nutrition and foundations of research in the fall semester when i would have normally taken it in the winter semester so i will say this definitely made the semester harder because we did not have like any cushion room on our grades because our grades were literally all hard science classes and then extra classes that we would have taken later so that was difficult um it was just really a grind to just continue to watch lectures and try to learn it and take the next exam and integrated exams are just a lot like one of the biggest exams that we took was 201 questions and 
I think on average, they were about 175 questions because we were literally having like five classes on the exam. So it was a lot, but we made it through. And I like this semester a lot better because it's more systems based where like I just had a pharmacology exam. I just had a pathology midterm. You know what I mean? Like it's just that class that I'm learning. So that's easier for me to grasp while it's just it was really hard taking 180 question exams and we had four hours to take them and i'm not gonna lie like i sat for all four hours for like at least one exam and i sat for like three and a half hours for a lot of the exams because i tend to take exams slow and i was also struggling with test anxiety and just questioning my questioning myself a lot in the first semester and so that was a struggle but Thank God we made it through and things are a lot better now with the current way that my classes are going. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about any classes that I took in med school. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback on what you thought of this video. If you found this helpful at all, um, please share this with a friend and you could leave a like and comment and make sure you're subscribed if you haven't subscribed yet, then that would be amazing. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I hope that you have a great day.